Hey guys, so today I want to talk about something really important. If you're looking to buy a home anytime soon, you should definitely start working on your credit if you don't have a great score. You want to make sure your score is in the 700 range. And having a good credit score can save you thousands upon thousands of dollars when you go to purchase a home. Uh, especially if you're planning on doing something like not putting a full 20% down payment um, because having a great credit score will definitely reduce your private mortgage insurance rates. So um, more on that in a different video, but bottom line is having a really good credit score is super, super important. So I wanted to share with you a few tips on how you can start working on your credit score today. Um, one thing that isn't talked about often, but something that you should definitely understand is your credit card utilization rate. So uh, experts say that ideally you should be using less than 30% of all of your available credit. So let's take a super easy peasy example. Let's say that you have one credit card and they've given you a $1,000 line of credit on that credit card. And let's say right now you are carrying a $400 balance. So you divide the $400 that you owe against $1,000 that they're giving you, and that means you're currently using 40% of your available credit line. And again, we gotta get that number under 30%. Um, so all you'd have to do in that situation is pay $100 towards that card, bring the balance down to $300, and voila, you have a 30% credit card utilization rate. Um, the trick is also keeping it below the 30%, and I know that can be hard. Another way that you can improve your credit card utilization rate is increase the amount of credit you have available. So let's go back to that example. Let's say you have the $1,000 line of credit, and you're currently carrying a balance of $400. You can either go to that credit card company and see if they're willing to give you an increase in the amount of credit they're, they're giving you, or you can open up another card. Um, let's say you get another card with a credit line of $500. Combine that with $1,000 on your original card. Now you have a total line of credit of $1,500. And um, let's go back to the example where you had that $400 balance. You divide the 400 by the 15, and all of a sudden your credit card, 1,500, and all of a sudden your credit card utilization rate is now was 25% under the 30%. You didn't even have to make a payment, you just increase your line of credit available and that magic number goes down. So um, those are two good tips. Some obvious ones, but maybe some of the hardest ones for some people are making sure your payment history is on point. Um, you gotta pay at least the minimum every single month. Payment history is the most important thing that they reference when um, calculating your credit score. So one 30 day delinquency note uh, on your credit history won't be, you know, the worst. Uh, but if you start racking up 30, 60 day delinquencies, 90 day delinquencies, or worse yet, multiple delinquencies on multiple credit card lines, that will definitely tank your score. So do whatever you can to never, never, never miss a payment. You can sign up for their automatic, like the credit card companies will usually send you email reminders. Better yet, if you can link it to a debit card and just set it up on auto pay, some companies will actually um, like waive your statement fee or they'll waive a fee or something if you sign up for auto pay. So they want you to also have good credit. So um, set reminders, put it on your phone, make a sticky note somewhere where you see it every single month. Or again, the auto pay option is really great, but make sure your payment history is really good. It's not something that you can go back and correct, but if you're starting right now to really focus on building your credit, start right now. And um, there's tons of other options. Like if you're you know, way in debt and you can't keep up with all your payments, you might wanna look into consolidating, getting some kind of personal loan where you can put all payments on one loan and you're just paying a lump sum every single month. That's another option, um, but also a bigger discussion. So um, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or other um, concerns about your credit, I have a ton of information. I also really recommend nerdwallet.com. That's N-E-R-D wallet.com. They have amazing articles and a lot of great information on how you can improve your credit. If you have any questions, you're looking to buy or sell a home. Uh, again, my name is Gina. My cell phone number is 310 
383-5022. Thanks.